What's up guys? Hope you're doing well. So CES is in full blast this week and there's been a surprising amount of really exciting new stuff from this rollable phone that aims to shake up the smartphone market to this AI controlled robot from Samsung that looks a lot like it's straight from a Black Mirror episode to this super fancy new fridge that can make perfectly round spheres of ice that you can have with your scotch or alcoholic beverage of choice. But one of the things that have really caught my eye has been the introduction of OLED Evo. So we're going to talk about that for a bit. As you may know, OLED is kind of the king of TV technology right now, and LG is certainly the king of OLED technology, at least as far as TVs are concerned. Yes, other manufacturers like Sony and Vizio, Philips and some others do also make OLED OLED TVs, but they all buy the OLED panels directly from LG. And OLED panels themselves haven't really improved much in the past several years. Instead, improvements have been made in image processing through the use of more powerful processors inside the TVs. But OLED Evo seeks to make the biggest improvement in OLED TVs, perhaps since the technology was introduced. The second generation panel adds a new luminous element that seeks to drastically improve the brightness levels of OLED panels, an area where they have been behind LED panels for the past couple of years. With this added brightness, they claim to have a brighter, punchier picture quality with more clarity in the images you're viewing. I have to take a brief intermission to complain about something. Every time they introduce a new TV or a new TV technology, they always have to go out of their way to make the outgoing technology look as bad as possible. I mean, don't get me wrong, I get why they do it, of course you have to illustrate your point, but I mean, come on, the difference between the old and the new TV will not be this big. I don't know, it just annoys me a bit how they always exaggerate how bad the older tech is and make it seem as if you've been viewing a potato for the past few years. Anyway, back to the TV. OLED Evo sounds awesome, but like with all new fancy tech, it's going to only be available on the most premium models, so if you want one of these TVs in 2021, you need to be prepared to reach deep inside your pockets. Over time, as it is with all new technology, it's going to become standard and it's going to become available to all of us, and then there will be some newer, fancier tech that will be restricted to the premium models. The good news is that image processing is getting improved as well, and that will carry through to all of LG's new TVs in their lineup, and probably also other manufacturers as well. But just for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on LG to see what they've been working on. So, they have this new processor called the Alpha 9 Gen 4, and with the use of AI and deep learning, they're able to take pretty much any content and make it look better. On top of that, the processor can distinguish between foreground and background objects as well as text to make sure that the important parts of the image, like the foreground and the subtitles, pop out more. Then there was some kind of fluffy stuff about improving picture quality by being able to detect what kind of content you're watching and essentially tailor the image processing to best match the scene. They talked about AI Sound Pro, which the TV can use to upmix your audio into a virtual 5.1.2 surround sound setup, although you will need to have a surround sound setup to make really good use of this, but it does mean that the content you're watching doesn't need to natively support surround sound audio for you to get a similar sort of experience. Lastly, they mentioned auto volume leveling, which sounds like a useful feature. Basically, it means when you switch from one type of content to another, the audio levels are balanced out so that you don't get surprised with overly loud or overly quiet audio. Sounds useful, but personally I would prefer to have auto-leveling in movies and TV shows as well, because I find that either I struggle to hear the dialogue, or if I turn the volume up, when the action scenes come around, my ears just explode. So come on LG, please do something about that as well. There's loads more stuff, but it's all very LG specific, so I won't get into it. I will link the full press conference from LG into the description below, so if you're interested, feel free to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.